What's up, Traders Edge? It's Mark Sebastian, your only option, and this is your look at the week ahead. Well, uh, Monday started off interesting, didn't it? Um, so today I'm going to lay out the uh, the levels and what exactly is happening. I'm going to give you the earnings that I'm keeping a tight eye on, uh, and I'll update you on where the VIX is heading. So let's dig in. And again, Monday was pretty darn ugly. Um, come on. All right. The S&P 500 is now cleanly below the 50-day moving average. It's at a one-month low. Still well off a three-month low, though. I mean, we had this massive... I don't know if you guys remember this. There was this massive day where... People said Fed policy was super bullish. We gapped up and then rallied more than 90 points in a day. Um, we're only kind of starting to break the high from the close from that day. And we've got a lot of ground, I think, to, to make up. Uh, we could see a trip, a dip below 5,000. I could see some resistance at 49.81. But it might not stop there. And I want to show you. Normally, I show you both sides, but I, I want you to just kind of pay attention to the breakout that we've seen in implied volatility here. And, you know, we kept having these higher highs and, low, and higher lows, and we kind of touch a little bit and then back off. Well, we got that higher high, but now we've completely broken out on implied volatility in the SPX. So I think there is potentially significant downside still here. Um, looking at the cues, we'll get to VIX in a second. Looking at the cues, kind of the same story. Uh, going back to that February level, cues look like they could get down to 425. Um, the 200-day moving average for the cues is all the way down at like 395. So there is not a lot of cushion. There is no real cushion here, except for I believe the February twenty first close. Uh, that's about the the area where I'd be looking. Below that, you'd be looking at four twenty one and three quarters, which was the February low from the twenty first uh, on the twenty first. So it does look like we're going to see a little bit of follow through here. And you're saying, well, Mark, you know, it doesn't sound like the Middle East tensions are that bad. Well. This is not about the Middle East. This is about bonds. TLT is completely breaking down. It, I warned you, watch interest rates. TLT is getting smoked. IEF, which is the basically the 10-year, also down pretty good. Um, nice gap down. Looks relatively ugly. Um, you know, if I pull these out on a one-year, remember how low these can get. So there's another 10 bucks of downside here, potentially, folks. Um, these look scary. They look ugly. And I would be, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm a little, I think interest rates really do have some potential move. And interest rate volatility is now up back to eight and a half. But look at the movement way above that. So there's still room for interest rate uh, option premiums to go up. Uh, I think interest rates are going to continue to move. I'm looking for IEF to maybe get down to below 90. I'm looking for TLT to make a run at 85. Um, I'm going to get to the stocks I'm watching for earnings, um, but I want to talk VIX because VIX looks is now in backwardation, at least April to May. Now, April only has a day left, so that that's why. But watch that May-June relationship. If May gets over June, that's when you have to worry, all right? Because that will be a sign that the market is, is starting to enter panic mode. Uh, the way this structure looks where we're in a partial backwardation with VIX over May, June, July, August, and even with September, but the future is still in contango, that's a sign that we're going to get some wild movement that things could go nuts um, up or down. When we enter into backwardation, that's a sign that things are going to be wild, but they're probably going to be toward the downside. All right, so what earnings am I watching? Well, we have a 
slew of earnings on Tuesday morning. Bank of America. We have Morgan Stanley. Watch out for Morgan Stanley because that one looks like it it wants to melt. It looks terrible. Watch watch a break of the 200 day moving average if they and you know a complete flush there if things get any worse. Uh, we also have J and J and um, United Healthcare, big Dow stocks reporting on uh, Tuesday. Uh, later in the week, uh, we get Alcoa and we get some of the industrials also hitting. So this is a busy earnings week. Um, those will be in the background. It's going to be about interest rates. Uh, and that's what you need to be paying attention to. If you want to know what the market's going to do, pull up the 10 year, the 10 year futures or look at IEF because that's going to dictate exactly the way the market's going to go. Um, the headline risk out of the Middle East is obviously important, but I think that's just kind of a mask for what's really happening under, underneath with interest rates. All right, folks, uh, you got questions. Uh, give me a give my team a call, 888-872-3301 or email support at option.com. If you're watching me on YouTube, like, subscribe, leave a comment or a question, and I will get at it. All right, folks, uh, I'll be back Tuesday with some more VIX analysis uh, and lots more this week. So make sure you're opening these emails and or uh, putting your notifications on for YouTube so that you don't miss anything. Have a good one.